Chris and this is Jim and we're Midlife Travel Bug and today we are going to show you the beautiful city of Sidari Corfu. Now we're standing just outside of Sidari in the Canal Amore. It's a uh, canal just cut in between the cliffs here where you're supposed to swim out and profess your love to your significant other. I guess yeah. if you swim to the end you will have eternal love. So we just told each other we're gonna have <laughs> eternal love. We're not gonna to swim to the end, but Jim's a baby. Want <laughs> so welcome to the video. If you're new here, like I said, we're Midlife Travel Bug, and we're gonna show you the north end of Corfu Island in Sidari, and we're gonna drive around this beautiful north part of Corfu. And Some of the beautiful beach yeah. stops along the way that you can't miss. So let's go check out Sidari and the north of Corfu Island. Now the canal here is free to get in, but there is five euro parking. However, it's very close to town. So if you're staying anywhere in the area, you could walk here. It's not that far and uh, you don't have to pay for parking. The water's so clear that you can actually see the cliff line go all the way down past the water line. like cliff jumping, this is the place to come. So this is our third stop here in the island of Corfu. We stayed a few nights in Corfu town and then we stayed in Palio Castriza is where we stayed. And this is our final stop here on the island and we're gonna tour around. We rented a car for Six days. Yeah, six days. We got a great rate through discovercars.com and that link is down below. And if you haven't seen our Corfu town video and our Palio Castriza video, then check those out as well when you're done this video. After scoping this place out, we do not recommend you park there because it is expensive at five euros. There's plenty of free parking back in the road and it's a short walk, so. There's actually a pathway around the corner, but if you don't know, you don't know. So that's a, a good tip if you do come. Now you know. We do have a cathedral here in Sidari, but closed at the time that we're here, so we didn't get the chance to go in. It's right down the main street, you can't miss it. So Sidari town is definitely geared for the nightlife. It has a ton of bars and restaurants down the main street and everyone advertises for live music at night. So no shortage of entertainment, especially at the nighttime. And it looks like on the weekends, a lot of people come in, fill up the place. There's a lot of UK bars, so it's geared for that as well. Mainly it's one main street that everybody walks on and then the bars on the beach side rent out the chairs as well so you can spend time on the chairs just soaking up the sun and watching the craziness that goes on on the beach.
So a very popular restaurant here in Sadari is Katarina's Taverna. We're gonna go check that out. It looks amazing, it's packed, and it gets great ratings. So we're excited to try the food there. Oh my God, the food is absolutely amazing. We ordered, we ordered too much. We ordered a Greek salad, fried feta, covered in sesame seeds and honey, and moussaka, and some tzatziki. Portions are huge. It looks so good. Oh my so gosh, good. the food in, in Greece has been definitely awesome. So I'd like to welcome you to our place in Sidari. We're staying at a lovely resort that has a nice pool and we are gonna spend $130 Canadian per night. We're in the high season in July here in Corfu and Chris booked us a really cool place. So let's go check it out. So the first thing we see is a kitchenette when we walk in shower in here which is great nice size bathroom and the main room is just awesome it's so clean we got a nice air conditioner right there great bed a safe and closet lots of room and then here's the star of the show right here but we got a nice patio we have the pool over there and just in the distance at the edge of the road there you're going to see the ocean Look at that water. We just ordered lunch at the Wave Resort. It's fantastic. It's fresh calamari, a nice salad, and some crushed olive paste. So everything looks amazing. This place not only gets great reviews for staying here, but it's a great restaurant as well. So we're super excited with our stay. things to do here in Sidari is you can check out a Greek night. A lot of places have them on different nights. We're here on a Saturday and we're at the Sea Breeze for Greek night. You book ahead of time with a 10 euro deposit that you get back in food. A traditional Greek night is with the dancers, the plate throwing and everything like that. Many places have this all across Sidari on different nights, but let's go check it out.